Hi, I'm Rob Price. I'm the Director of Web Experiences at MPI, and I'm proud to introduce you to MPI Group Space. Uh, back in July of 07, we began a project to enable our users uh, to create space on our website around the topics uh, and interests that they're passionate about. Uh, an example might be that chapters would use this to create their own social networks. Students might create groups around the issues that are important to them. Uh, and what MPI Group Space is, is a platform to enrich existing communities uh, and allow for the formation of new ones. Uh, in September of 07, we went to beta testing uh, and really got to work with uh, chapters and some students and other groups to really co-create the foundation uh, of what these networks would look like. All that said, I'd like to take you through a group homepage in GroupSpace. Uh, and now I'm going to break down what the components of that homepage are so that you can, you can see what are the, the different areas of a GroupSpace homepage. The, one of the most important parts that, that you're going to find is at the top of each of the groups. That's the main navigation area. Uh, you'll see all the links that you need to actually move around within that very particular uh, group, as well as how many members are, are a part of that group and how you join. Uh, and that's the main navigation area. Uh, the next area, uh, certainly the next most important, would be the description of the group. And so what, what we put here, uh, it tells you as you go looking through these groups and, and interacting, this tells you uh, when this group was created, what it is that it's centered around, what's its focus or what's its area of interest. Uh, and this really just helps you find out, you know, beyond the title, what this group does and, and what their purpose is. What you just saw was the area for the message board and the wikis. Um, below the description is where you find the message board or discussion groups. And below the discussion groups on the home page is going to be the area for the wiki documents. And all the information that comes in these, uh, as with, with everything centered around the group homepage, is particular to that group. So it's just for that community. This is the, the areas and the information that will be coming and going in, out of, in and out of that community specifically. The next two areas uh, that we're looking at are the documents. Each group has its own document library. Uh, and the last thing in that left-hand column is gatherings. And what gatherings is, it's just a part of the message board, but we separated it out as a place to post meetings uh, or any face-to-face -face opportunities. You may uh, post into your, your community, you know, who all is attending the 2008 PCNA, uh, and what can, you know, be able to meet up and, and meet in real life as well. The last part of a group homepage we'll look at is the right-hand column, and there's only two components there. The top area is for announcements, and this is the space where you can customize your group's homepage. Uh, the administrator of the group, whoever starts it or moderates uh, the space, uh, will have the ability to upload their logo. They can post messages that are important for the whole community to read that will stay the whole time. Um, so this is kind of your full control. Um, the area below that is the group blog. All the members inside of this, this group can post messages to the blog. Um, the last three will show on the home page. Beyond that, you would have to click view all and you can look at all the messages posted. Um, this also has RSS feed, so you'd be able to subscribe to it. Past that, this is all the components of a group in group space. Um, I would encourage you to explore, uh, search the communities that are out there, create your own around topics you're passionate about, uh, interact and engage with others, uh, and have fun.